Hey everybody, Dan Dabney with Crappie Now Magazine with another How to Rig Your Boat segment. This particular edition is talking about how to put rod racks on the back of your boat in order for you to pull baits behind the boat. This would be true both for aluminum series and for fiberglass series boats. As you can see here, what I have on this particular boat is a Driftmaster uh, trolling rack that's on the back of the boat. It extends both from the uh, port to the opposite side of the boat. As you can see, I have eight rod holders on here that will allow me to not only pull directly behind the boat, but I can also have it to where it will pull from the sides. As you can see here, uh, all the rod racks and the rod holders are attached to the bar, which are attached to poles on the back end of the boat. These particular poles that we have here can actually be higher or they can be shorter depending on your application on your particular boat. When you're using long rods, anywhere from 8 to 10 to 12 feet to in order to pull baits off the back end of the boat, whether it be crankbaits or whether it be jigs or planer boards, make sure that you arrange these particular rod holders such that they're staggered and they keep the bait separated. In this particular case, what I'm doing is I'm taking a rod holder and I'm extending it off the side of the boat, out away from the boat, and then I'm staggering the rod holder such that the rods will be separated and keep the bait separated. As you can see here, I have eight on here. It allows me to mount it both all the way across the, the back of the boat and on the sides of the boat. The bases of these, I'll show you the base here, uh, are bolted or screwed into the deck of the boat. As you can see here, we used bolts that allow this thing to be extremely sturdy. Yet, when I'm not using this particular rod rack, all I have to do is take the wing nut loose, take the rack off of this particular uh, rod holder, and then take the pole off, and then I won't have anything in my way except the base, which is just going to be flat. So I don't have anything to trip on, and I can fish my other techniques without having the rod rack in my way. You can also take this particular pole that we have here and we can attach a T-bar, which is a sharp T-bar on both sides. And if you're only going to pull four rods or maybe six rods, you can use that T-bar in varying lengths and pull the baits both left and right off the back end of your boat. So it's very versatile. It allows you to be able to custom build this the way you want it so that you can then control the amount of poles and the amount of clutter on the back end of your boat if you want to call it that. I'm Dan Dammy with Crappie Now Magazine. Go get you some trolling racks for the back end of your boat and start pulling today. Until next time, you have a great day.